Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with the bonus love read, and it is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. Topic of the reading is for all of you out there who are in a no contact situation with a specific someone, and you really want to know what's going to happen next. What are their current feelings towards you in the no contact situation, and will they be reaching out to you or not? This reading will help you find the answers to those questions. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. What are their feelings for you right now, Scorpio? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, let's find out their feelings for you. What are their feelings for you? What are their feelings for you right now? Let's begin. Wow, this person is their happiest when they are with you. I really feel like you know, they're definitely um, missing the good things that you have had together. This person loves the way things uh, were between you and them. Um, Whenever they think of you, their heart just fills up with so much of joy. Thinking of you, thinking of the good times that they had with you, for sure. Um, this person has so much love for you. They definitely have so much love for you. I don't know what happened, why the two of you pulled apart, uh, why the connection ended. Uh, whether it was you or it was their decision, you ghosted them, they ghosted you out. But whatever the case is, it seems like you know this person still thinks um, of you and feel happy thinking about the good days that they have had with you. But this person is trying to stay strong here. I really feel like, you know, uh, they are trying to kind of control their emotions, their feelings. Um, they do still believe that your connection with them is very strong. Um, but at the same time, I really feel like, you know, um, there might be circumstantial blocks for some of you if it's not your fault in the connection. Because I really feel like, you know, with this much love that they have for you and whenever they think of you, I really feel like you know, they would be with you if given a choice and if um, given a, an opportunity, they would be definitely back with you already. Why? Because they love you a lot. This person really feels so much love and um, excitement thinking of you even. They really believe the connection that you share is uh, matchless. It can never happen probably with any other person between you know them and somebody else. They really feel the bond is special. And I feel like you know they, they really... Um, believed that they they could um they could never be themselves with anybody else but with you so they do still think of you that way you know they they admire the love they admire the time they they miss the time probably too but um they are trying to stay stay strong here trying not to probably express love but trust me they are trying to manifest you back in their life they are definitely trying to manifest uh, you back in their life. They really want this connection to be stronger than ever. If your person was disappointed in you, trust me, they are going to manifest you back in their life. Whether you want them back or whether you don't want them back. But yes, this person is going to make uh, make make things happen in this connection. Um, I really feel like, you know, maybe, maybe for some of you, your person is stubborn or egoistic. Which could be the reason why they haven't been like reaching out to you or approaching you themselves. They probably would want you to be the one reaching out to them for some of you. Again, I don't know who was at fault when the two of you pulled apart, when the two of you decided not to contact. But this person really wants to manifest the communication here. They want to manifest the love here. They want to manifest a union here. Only that if we do have the Knight of Wands, I really feel like you know this person is, um, you know, they, they are very passionate towards you. They miss the good times and summer months could have been very significant. Maybe for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who's a summer born person. Uh, maybe you first met in the month of summers. I feel like, you know, summer months are very significant. And uh, um, I really feel like, you know, if there is summer going on, uh, I really feel like, you know, maybe the summer too could bring you some positive changes in your love life with this person. Uh, let's see, will they be reaching out to you? Will they be reaching out to you, Scorpio? Will they be reaching out to you? Will this person be reaching out to you? Wow. Okay. I really feel like you know, the intent, probably you to reach out to them, but 
will they be reaching out to you i feel like you know they are they have been trying to send you telepathic messages probably they are not gonna reach out they're just gonna make sure that they send you telepathic messages and you reach out to them or something like that because they really want reconciliation with you but they really want to find a way to have it without you you know no without you know that they are manifesting you so i really feel like you know for some of you um I feel like you know they're trying to communicate to you through telepathy and you might see this person in your dreams a lot um this person really wants to communicate to you and uh, they will eventually i believe but yes they would want you to reach out to them that's what they're intending that's what they're wanting and in, in, you know initially but if and when you are not gonna do that they definitely will take action towards you because they love you and trust me you both are soulmates uh, whatever the reason is you are you know apart from each other this connection is meant to be i really feel like you know your connection is strong probably you feel the same way when the two of you are not talking uh you also want this person to communicate to you but maybe you have you know ego you both have ego maybe you both are stubborn maybe you both are acting childlike uh you know um like a child and i feel like you know which could be the reason why their connection is kind of suffering right now uh but i really feel like you know the communication will start because i really see the manifestation uh you know that they want to have in in regards to your connection with them so um let's see the oracle guidance for you let's see what's the divine message for you in regards to your situation and this uh you know with this person see what's the guidance for you what's the guidance for you okay let's see relationship harmony and nurture as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now i really feel like it's time for the healing to be done um like i said earlier i really feel like you know for some of you um you you both have been probably acting like a child here maybe you both have some insecurities as well maybe you both have some stubbornness as well and you you need to nourish each other and you know oneself as well i really feel like you know, when you are going to be doing that when you are going to be like taking care of yourself and your needs you will be able to take care of uh, you know their needs as well i really feel like you know, it's time for you to um love yourself for who you are nourish yourself for who you are uh nourish yourself with lots of love in the given situation and uh just know one thing you know you know when when the kids fight what do they do they patch up without saying sorry uh it was my fault blah 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 they stop playing again i really feel like you know when it comes to your relationship probably that's how you always come back together Maybe for some of you, you might have been having on and off with each other and you know that you both love each other and the two of you are going to communicate eventually. So instead of fighting, try to resolve things. Don't act like immatures. Try to um, try to make change in this connection so you could have a happy, fulfilling relationship and that stays there forever rather than having on and off. For majority of you, probably are having a no contact, but this is something that you keep having on and off. So then we do have the relationship harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So the divine really wants you to know one thing here. You know, when you nourish your inner self and uh, you heal from the past experiences, you start adding more fun and more activities together in this connection. I really feel like, you know, when you work on your bond with each other, your relationship harmony is going to be restored. And um, I really feel like, you know, the conflicts the that you might be having because of lack of communication, lack of openness, uh, the arguments that you're having or the disagreements that you're having uh, will, will dissolve automatically. You need to work on nourishing the connection uh, on a deeper level, not on the sexual or on a face uh, value. I feel like it's time for you to look deeper into things. You can also use heart to heart meditations to to fill each other's heart with so much love. You can also use love rituals to make things happen in your love life for this person. But I really see that there is so much love coming from this person towards you and uh, it's a mutual love. It's not a one-sided situation, but yes, I really feel like, you know, 
uh, it's high time that you resolve the conflicts and get back together because that's what is ultimately going to take place and happen. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. Till I do the next read, take care. Bye.